The reason I'm shooting this video today is besides the fact that I really need to get into the habit of going live and showing the stuff that I'm working on is um, I've had a bunch of people lately reach out to me, ask me questions about membership sites, ask me if I knew anything about them. And of course, I consider myself to be one of the foremost people when it comes to working with membership sites, especially inside of ClickFunnels, not necessarily running the sites, but actually building the sites. And so uh, where my journey on this really began was oh, two plus years ago, two and a half years ago now, probably I uh, was just, you know, newer ish. I'd, I've been in ClickFunnels now for about four years, but I was newer ish to it. And I started playing around with some uh, membership sites and I watched some training that Steve Larson had done on membership sites. And I really got into it right away. I really loved it. I, what I really love about it is that it's just infinitely extendable. Anything you want to do in here, as far as I'm concerned, you can do inside of these membership areas. A lot of people poo-poo them and say they don't like them. They don't work right. Bull. I think they work great. But um, so I was at a meeting with Steve then in May of 2018. And I was showing him some of the membership sites I had built. And I frankly didn't think he was paying attention. And uh, about a month later, he got a hold of me and he said, um, hey, would you do the membership site training for this new product I have? It's called Affiliate Outrage. And here it is right here. I'm on day eight where we are selling uh, free memberships. And what I did is I actually put together five videos for him. I forget these videos are all at least 20, 30 minutes a piece. And uh, so five different videos showing people how to trick out uh, membership site. And then he's got a share funnel down here somewhere too. I don't know where it is, but either way, so five videos. Oh, here's the share funnels right here. And um, uh, five videos and a share funnel right there. So um, let me just show you the share funnel that we originally built for this. It's only the first three lessons, the last two lessons where I get into a lot higher end stuff. For some reason, I can't find that share funnel anywhere. Um, I, I doubt if I deleted it, but I cannot find that thing. So here was the original one that I built for him. Pretty basic stuff. And all I did really in the first couple of lessons was to come in and just show how to change out the colors on the lessons, how to uh, change the hover effects on here, change the margins, that kind of stuff, how you can put an image in anywhere you want in amongst the sections. You could even put it in between the lessons if you wanted to. You can put basically anything you want in here. It's just a matter of a little bit of JavaScript code that you just inject these uh, items into it. So that was the original one that I built out. And then since then, I was just playing around with it a little bit. And instead of having just an image here, now I have it so that when you hover over this image, you go from one image to another. I put in a previous next pagination in here. And in case you're wondering, uh, no, this is not Jamie Smith's code. I write all my own stuff. Not that I don't like Jamie. I love the man to death, but um, we just have a little bit slightly different uh, coding style when it comes to stuff like that. And so... Um, here I have some drop down menus right built right into the uh, sidebar here. So you can click on this and accordion the things up and down. But these are still lesson links right here. So if I click on it, I will go to a lesson. But of course, there's nothing in those lessons. So we'll go back to the home page. And then what else did I build in here one day? I just uh, dropped in this here again. It's just a little element where you can put a video in here. And then you can just have a video or any content that you would like, you could put right inside of here. And uh, let me see what else we have. Then I built out my CF Ninja hacks page. And let me just reload this here and see if I can get the animation to work. But because I'm running so many streaming things right now, it may not. But you should see it says loading here. And then we're going to get a spinning box that comes in. And I originally got that idea from... Um, uh, what's his name? Charles Robinson. Um, but you see the spinning box there. And then what I did is I just put in uh, different ways. To, I mean, now this is actually the built in way that uh, ClickFunnels works, but just a little bit different hover on here. But then here I built it in so you could close off this entire section at once. So if you have like a couple of these open, you can click on this and it'll close the entire section. And otherwise, there's not, I mean, there's some things I did in here. Again, we got the previous next here. I put in, let's just click on this here. Um, I put in the name of the section. So you always know what section you're in by having the name of it right up here at the top. 
And then uh, what I like to do on the membership access pages is you got this thing down here, not a member sign up here. I put that in there because when I have people come in to these uh, membership areas, I want them to be able to get in no matter what. I don't want to have a closed front door. I want to have the front door wide open so that somebody can come in and take a look at all the content that is in there. So the whole idea is you come in and you put in a whole bunch of free content and then you protect the content that you want with the Wasabi OTO. This section here, I'll show you in a minute, is protected with the Wasabi OTO. And so if somebody were not a member, they would come in here and they would get a message saying, no, this is protected content. Well, that's what I want to do on all my sites is give them free content and then give them protected content that they can buy using the, uh, the OTO feature. So, um, so that's why I have this where it toggles back and forth. Now, another thing I have here, and I will just refresh this page. Uh, another thing I have that it does is I have uh, deep linking set up. So we can come in and we can... Uh, if let's see if it can bring me in, it should, because I should be logged in. Um, so it should bring me right into the page and I had it set to go to three dash two. So less than the three dash two. So of course, testing this on the fly, we'll see if this works and yeah, it did. So this would be section three, lesson number two brings you right there on a deep link. Now here, let me see, did I do this right? Yeah. Okay, so on here, um, we're talking about the Wasabi OTO. On here, this section down here, the OFA uh, Funnel Design School, let me close all this up. This is a program I just built that uh, well, I ended up, I finished it last fall, except for one video, I have to redo the intro video. But um, what it what it was is basically, it was a follow on to the OFA. I'd taken the OFA like five times. And I took it to like the fourth time till I got to week four. And so I had, I really struggled with it and a lot of other people struggled and I kind of looked at, okay, where were they struggling? And uh, so I did things on funnel theory, funnel structure, and on and on. You can see all kinds of stuff here. Then I built out a complete site. I have all the share funnels, all the bonuses in here as well. And that's, that's really it. So we got the bonuses and all of the content. And if somebody were want to buy this, they could, it's um, basically, you can either give me a hundred bucks or you can join the OFA using my link and you'll get all this content for free. Uh, as long as, you know, I get a hundred bucks, which it's, I personally think I've had people tell me this is some of the best training they've ever seen, but how this um, OTO thing works is Wasabi OTO is when somebody clicks on it. Now, normally, how it would work inside of ClickFunnels is somebody hovers over it and it will uh, just gray this out and say, uh, you don't have access to this click here to get access or something. I was like, I didn't like that. So I wanted it so that they could actually come in here and, and think that this content was live. But when they click on any one of these, it pulls up this page. And this page is nothing but a sales page. It's actually a, um, a screen capture of the actual sales page itself. So if you click on that, it's now going to open up a, um, the sales page for this uh, program. So like I said, if you want to go there and check it out, it's all a big whopping hundred bucks. So, uh, but I probably will raise the price at some point, especially when I get it finally, final, finally, finally finalized. Okay. So now here's another one. Here's a quick start blueprint. Now, Back here, this is CF Ninja Hacks, and this is Quick Start Blueprint. Both of them have all kinds of training on ClickFunnels in there, and um, both of them are completely free, except for like in you know CF Ninja Hacks, where some of the stuff is going to be upgrades. But this one here is completely 100% free, and so you just come in and you just click on any one of these. And again, this is a ClickFunnels membership site, so this one here still look like the standard kind of thing that everybody sees. This is a ClickFunnels membership site. So as I click on each one of these, it opens up different lessons. And then inside of each one of these, you have other lessons on top of it. And you click on one of these videos, it opens it up inside of a video modal box like that. And um, so, and you can click here, this will take you to the second half of the modules. And you see, as I click on this here, the title changes out the the uh, the line changes here and all the content changes as well along the way so now 
I had another, uh, this was, this again was almost two years ago, um, had a, had a gal reach out to me and she had a membership site where she had like 20 weeks worth of training and it was a membership site for people. So uh, basically you got a uh, daily workout plan, you got a weekly meal plan or grocery list and like a daily meal plan is what it basically amounted to. So it was fitness industry kind of thing. And she had like a 20, 20 weeks worth of content. And what she wanted is when somebody came in they would just jump in line. They wouldn't jump in and take, grab the first week's worth of content. They would come in. So let's say they're coming in a week 15 of her rotation. They'll get week 15 worth of content. And then 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Once you hit 20, then it rotates back to week one. So what you basically do is you set the content to begin on a given date. Let's just say January 1st. And then if somebody comes in five weeks later, they will start on week five worth of the content. And so how it works then is you just, when the page loads, it auto detects what the date is. And I say auto detect it seriously took like 20 lines of code to do it. Uh, but it figures out what the date is and what the day of the week is. And then it goes and it finds that content based upon how far are we from that initial start date. So it figures out, okay, we are five weeks into this and we know it's Friday, July 24th. So that's what it does is it goes to July 24th. This would be the week of July 19th, which I forget. I forget it is set it as Sunday or Monday. I think that's Sunday. And um, so it's going to come in here. It's going to populate this. It's going to give you the content for Friday, July 24th. And then this other section down here, this is just other generic content that would be there on the page all the time. And so then I got one last one I want to show you. And this one here was just a ton of fun to make. Um, guys who run the uh, Kidpreneur books, they, were, they asked me to help them with a membership site. And I'll be honest with you, they never used it because when I got done and I showed it to them, they said, okay, that's great, but that's the wrong image. This was a table of contents for something else, not what I was supposed to be building it for. And so it never got used. But I had a ton of fun building it because this table of contents right here, like you saw over here, when we click on the icons, this is what changes out what the content is we're going to see. Well, here I used an image to do the exact same thing. So when you click on the table of contents here, we click on introduction it takes us to the introduction section. If I go back to the table of contents, it goes back to the welcome page. So we click on this here and then within it, we have different lessons. So we have our lesson one, which is already showing here. And we'll click on this, we'll go to lesson two, denoted by the twos here. And then lesson three, we got the threes. And then we can go to chapter one, see that changes up here. And chapter two, as you can see, I did not put in that much content. This was just a test drive to see if it would work. So we had all that, but then also you can go here and I put in pagination as well. So we can just go from chapter to chapter right within here. Or again, like I said, you can just click on the images over here to the left. So that is it. I just want to jump on here today because I needed to record this for somebody else. And so I just wanted to uh, jump on here and do this, make, make sure that my streaming setup worked and also just get into the habit of going live. And so that's what I'm going to be doing a lot more going forward. I got a whole bunch of hacks I got to build out. And what I think I'm going to do is pretty much put them together and then come live and show them to people. And uh, also, if you're wondering about membership sites, in case you're wondering, I, I don't know how to see comments right now. Um, so I guess I could look on my phone or something, but, but again, I'm streaming into five different locations. And so I could have people commenting in five different locations. So there is some logistical problems here. I, I can clearly see already, but what I started to say was membership sites. I do have a bunch of training already done on this, but I have a lot more than I'm going to get done. And probably sometime in the next couple of months, I will uh, definitely be uh, getting out some training for everyone on this. Of course, it's going to have to be paid training. I got to, I got to pay my bills somehow, but, um, but again, I got to go. Any questions that anybody might have, just drop them in the comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.